Now, I would like to invite Sharon Carter to come up and say a few words. Margaret Carter was known to most as a founder of S.H.I.E.L.D. But I just knew her as Aunt Peggy. She had a photograph in her office. Aunt Peggy standing next to JFK. As a kid, that was pretty cool. But it was a lot to live up to. Which is why I never told anyone we were related. I asked her once how she managed to master diplomacy and espionage in a time when no one wanted to see a woman succeed at either. And she said, compromise where you can. But where you can't, don't. Even if everyone is telling you that something wrong is something right. Even if the whole world is telling you to move. It is your duty to plant yourself like a tree. Look them in the eye and say, no, you move. We spent our best time together the past few years. I asked her out of all of her achievements, which she was most proud of. She patted my hand, smiled, and said, dear, I'm afraid that's classified. When I came out of the ice, I thought everyone I had known was gone. And I found out she was alive. I was just lucky to have her. She had you back, too. After everything happened with S.H.I.E.L.D., during my little hiatus, I went back to Russia and tried to find my parents. Two little gravestones by a chain link fence. I pulled some weeds and left some flowers. We have what we have when we have it. Who else signed? Tony, Rhodey, Vision. Clint? Says he's retired. Wanda? TBD. I'm off to Vienna, and there's plenty of room on the jet. Just because it's the path of least resistance doesn't mean it's the wrong path. Staying together is more important than how we stay together. What are we giving up to do it? I'm sorry, Nan. I can't sign. I know. Well, then what are you doing here? I didn't want you to be alone. Here's to an honorable discharge. You sure you're okay with this? I'm not worried about me. I make a great civilian. You could, too. So when you were spying on me from across the hall... You mean when I was doing my job. Did Peggy know? She kept so many secrets. Didn't want her to have one from you. CIA got you stationed over here now? Berlin. Working for the Joint Terror Task Force. Sounds fun. I know, right? So this Accords thing is happening? Maybe I'll take some time off. <laughs> when was the last time there wasn't a uniform hanging in your closet? Why, you don't like the outfit? Oh no, it suits you. Believe me. for walking me back. Sure. 
Hey. Something you gotta see. We need to plan something for Carl's birthday next week. He says you promised him an Xbox. He's very excited. I'm going to bed. I love you. Come home soon. Is it Monsieur Roussel? It's the one. Yes. Sir. So I guess when you said you'd do it yourself, you meant you'd do it yourself. You are not used to the truth, are you? I got a look at your suit, Vibranium Weave. I'm very impressed. You realize that this puts you under the Accord's jurisdiction. How long do your psychological evaluations usually take? Why are you bored? Not currently, but my prisoner and I have a plane to catch. I realize you're not one for politics. I think there's a chance you may be being a bit naive. Congratulations, Your Highness. He got extradition. Yes, Ms. Romanov. I'm sure I have much to learn. The fifth one was here in Poland, near the Baltic, and the sixth one was about here, 30, 40 miles west of the Maginot Line. I just got a quick look. Nobody's perfect. Hey, aren't you supposed to be picking up a medal right now? I've decided I'm officially off the press circuit. Rogers. 
You just embarrassed the United States Senator in front of a room full of reporters and 10 members of Parliament. He <laughs> deserve a medal just for that. You figure out what that is yet? You know, if you believe Rogers, it's the most powerful explosive known to man. If? Well, either you're wrong, or Schmidt's rewritten the laws of physics. Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. You would have known us as the Strategic Scientific Reserve. Where am I? 46th and Broadway. I'm sorry about that little show back there, but we didn't know what your mental state might be, so we thought it best to break it to you slowly. Break what? You've been asleep, Cap, for almost 70 years. How am I alive? Well, to be honest with you, we don't really know. My docs say it was suspended animation. Could be Dr. Erskine's formula, the extreme cold. I don't know. What about the war? Did we win? Hell yes, unconditional surrender. And taking down Hydra was a big part of that. But the world hasn't changed all that much. There's still a lot of work to be done soldier's work. The world can still use a man like you, Cap. There's a place here for you. Sure you're all right? Yeah. Yeah, I just... I had a date. Thank you. 